Meus cumprimentos ao presidente da Federação Russa. I would like Russa, to salute uh, the president Putin, of the uh, Russian Federation, Mr. Vladimir Putin, for his warm welcome and for the excellent organization as the host of the BRICS Summit and for allowing us to come to this magnificent city in a very developed region uh, in Russia, which is the city of Kazan. Saúdo. In the Tata region, I'd like to uh, greet all the other presidents here in attendance as well as the heads of delegation and prime ministers, ladies and gentlemen. Over the next few months, important events are going to have an effect on the world economic panorama after the central bank in the U.S., Cut interest rates in mid-September. The world is watching a new cycle where interest rates are being reduced. And once more, friction is provoked and triggered by the predominance of these policies over the rest of the world. The future pace of this interest da trajetória do mercado de trabalho da inflação nos Estados Unidos. O que, o que justamente mostra a falta de controle que a maioria dos países tem sobre a sua própria trajetória de taxa de juros e de taxa de câmbio. Na Europa, a economia está fragilizada e, bem contrário, continua a se abater sobre o continente. The uh, central bank's decision last week of reducing interest rates for the third time this year. Therefore, we can see that there is a strong push for this still growth. However, Global South countries in Asia, uh, Middle East, Africa and Latin America, particularly countries in Asia and the Middle East, they have been responsible for the improvement as far as international economic financial conditions of all the peoples. Já no âmbito de Now, at the geopolitical level, the dramatic situation in Médio, Palestine in the Middle East continues to be a core point as far as our concern is concerned, particularly for the fact that e the death of children and women has just the one as explanation, termination, the complexities of the region, they also de affect e the uh, transport and international logistics assim, situation. A Hence, the complex geopolitical é situation is something that is added also to the use of the US dollar as a weapon. De, de propriamente de alteração das condições de vida das populações of que afetam também a base do sistema financeiro internacional, que é a confiança system, e a integridade. Assim sendo, é nesse quadro Therefore, it is within this scenario that NDB has been developing its activities. The first months of my time in office uh, at NDP, they were very challenging because at that time the bank was undergoing a deterioration of its liquidity situation after 15 months of any public access to raising of funds outside of the uh, bond markets that were very important important uh, for the bank, and this happened during the COVID pandemic. Starting in 2023, the NDB started to take measures to overcome these challenges. It identified its real need uh, uh, fund uh, raising needs and managed to focus its resources going back to the market in April last year. And this um, return allowed for a 
desde better então, perception as far as o risk is LDB, concerned in relation to NDB since LDB, then, the new development bank, the NDB, uh, came back to the market many times, raising funds in RMB, in Hong Kong dollars, in dollars in the Middle East, in USDs, and also RAND from South Africa, totaling almost 12 billion in many different uh, operations, basically speaking, the bank uma estratégia de diversificação, forces a diversification strategy, releasing bonds in the local market for emissions in local currencies, also extending maturity as well as reducing costs, making the most of its unique position in the Asian and Middle East markets. And thus, we're able to reduce our financing spread in 45 base points for a dollar loans we have started to issue within a five-year maturity, and we are actually expecting to be able to do more. The descending cost trajectory that we've been experiencing shows that the bank is on the right path. Resuming uh, fund-raising activities allowed us to make disbursements for hired projects in addition to signing new financing contracts and increase the so-called Project Pipeline 4 NDB, only for the years of 2024 and 2025, we projected a project pipeline from 39 to 40 uh, projects that goes from transport, infrastructure, a clean energy, energy efficiency, water, sanitation, environmental protection, social and digital infrastructure, totaling almost 10 billion USDs, the accumulated disbursements from the bank have reached $26 billion since its creation. The bank has financed 101 investment projects, which has totaled around $35 billion. The new development bank is expecting and wants to put a lot of emphasis in the financing in local currencies, and this is critical to increase our financing capacity, such as our strategy from 2022 to 2026 that establishes the goal of ensuring that 30% of all financing will be done so using currencies from member countries. Up until now, the approval of projects in local currencies from our countries has reached 28.3%. Thus, we are reaching the 30% already, and this is why. It is critical for us to promote new technologies, promote new platforms for financing in local currencies. This approach, in addition to you know, being important and ensuring us higher financial sovereignty and ensuring that the finances also reflect the importance of our countries' investments in trade also tries to solve this imbalance created from the cash flows when we take these USDs for them to be expressed in local current currencies and the financing of the payment being done in international dollar because this has been one of the sources that explains the high level of indebtedness of global South countries because once you raise funds in local currencies, you do away with the need for hedging and you create a protection against the volatility of interest and exchange rates. Your Excellencies, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the positive results reached by NDB recently have allowed for uh, an important new reduction to be approved for sovereign loans for our member countries. A very long-lasting request from our shareholders, and this is an important fact because by reducing such costs makes the projects better for 
countries in the global south and also makes the bank more competitive. Another item which is top of our priority list is uh, expanding the number of members because new members, they reinforce the roles, the, the bank's role as a platform for cooperation for global south countries. The growing interconnection between us makes it easier for creating a financial infrastructure based on multilateralism and on a multipolar world. And it also boosts this dynamic. In 2023 and 2024, MDB had many formal consultations sent for them to become members of the country, which shows how consolidated the MDB is and how attractive it is for Global South nations in a debate held in the last Banco, meeting of the bank governors, nós we agora are now finalizing the process for admitting Algeria as a member of the bank. Uh, the NDB tried to reach another strategic uh, goal, which is to become a center of knowledge, and thus the bank has promoted relevant discussions about the sustainable development and also the use of uh, currencies from member countries, exploring platforms and technologies to offer more favorable financial conditions for emerging markets and developing countries. It is thus the commitment that the bank has of exploring new innovative and important financing platforms in local currencies. It has also been very important to share development views and experiences, particularly to share our processes of overcoming energy-related problems, transforming this experience in benefits for member countries. Lastly, I am happy to to say that despite the uncertainties and global challenges, the new development bank has moved forward and has shown positive trends in this last period. However, this does not mean that we are pleased with what we have reached. This only makes us capable of striving to reach more and get more, fulfilling our institutional mandate to the benefit of our member countries means to continue to work to increase our financial capacity, particularly through the financing platforms for local currencies so that we may have necessary resources to provide for the needs that we know are many bids in facing inequalities and development, be it in energy transition, be it in the sphere of striving to reach a safer, more stable world for all of us in favor of this more multipolar world. Thank you very much.